You ready? Mm, 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 mm. Going to seminary, seminary school. Going to seminary, seminary school. Go Boo. <laughs>
and go ahead and set up, you know, into my payment information so I could, you know, pay for my classes. And so I remember when I went a few days later, which the Holy Spirit reminded me of this because I completely forgot. But a few days later, the website was down. The website was down and it said it will be down into July. And so that was in May. So it was going to be down May, June, and July. So I couldn't set up my payment plan. So I was very, very irritated. And, uh, but I was able to enroll in like a prep class that they give. So it's like a, a prep, like pre a preparation class for seminary and it was free. And so I enrolled in a, in a prep class. And I remember the first day in the class, I sat down to get ready to read the lesson and I felt very unsettled. I felt very weighty. <laughs> And I, it's just like, I was, it was like I was in, I was in my desk, like just getting ready for the lesson, but I just felt very like, oh, I don't want to be here, you know? And so I already knew because God has did this to me multiple times that whenever I feel that weight, that is his disapproval. <laughs> whenever I feel like something is really heavy on me, uh, not necessarily always is disapproval, but it's, it's, it is like a, um, like a red flag. It's, it's something like God is saying like, Hey, 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 uh, Hey, 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 I'm trying to get your attention. You, some, some ain't right here. Some ain't right. And so I remember like that moment I was like, okay, God, I feel very weighed down. Do you not want me to go to DTS? God didn't say nothing. And so <laughs> I was like, okay. Do you want me go? To, do you want me to go to Global Awakening Theological Seminary? And so, because I, I was like, because the lady mentioned it, I dismissed it. But now I'm feeling like DTS is a no. The only other option would be Global Awakening, because that's the only two that were in my mind. And so I remember I took a pause during the lesson. I pulled up Global Awakening Theological Seminary online, and I started to read through the, um, the website and look at the master's programs that they, you know, that they provide. And I, I read their mission statement and I was kind of like, all right, GATS, which is what they call it. GATS, Global Awakening Theological, G-A-T-S. All right, GATS, y'all over here acting, acting like y'all really doing something at this seminary school. So I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by the website and I was thoroughly impressed by the different programs that they offer. I was thoroughly impressed by the courses that they offer. I was thoroughly impressed by just the entire school. I was just super, super impressed by it. And I remember being like, okay, God, if this is where you want me to go, you gonna have to work this thing out because I've already been accepted into DTS. You know, I've already got my references, I already my transcript, I already filled out the application, which took forever. <laughs> I've already did all of this. I'm already in the door. Like, but if this is what you want me to do, I will go backwards and I will not backwards, but I'll reroute and go to gas. And so, but my main thing, honestly, was just the references. I was like, I have three people that were super busy, but they took time out of their schedule. They explained how the reference for a DTS was, you know, super long, all these questions. And so I just didn't want to be, you know, inconvenient to them and say, hey, can you write it again for another school? And so I remember God said, ask again. That's what he said specifically. He said, he said verbatimly that moment, he was like, ask again and i was like okay all right i'm gonna ask again i'm gonna ask again so i remember um asking the references again and they all said yes they said they would love to write it again um because i'm being spirit led if this is the school that god is leading me to of course they will be happy to write a reference again and so they did and i applied D dts did not did not uh, require a three-page essay but global awakening required a three-page essay and that essay almost took me out okay the lord had to literally come down and, and give me something to put because i was i was on a page and was like that's all i got lord but anyhow 
So the application process was a little bit was a little bit difficult for me, but I pressed through. I got accepted, okay, and I enrolled. I did my orientation class, and now I'm enrolled in my very first class, which is called Academic Success. So I'm super excited to get a degree in evangelism because that is something that the Lord pushed me to. He, when I was looking at the different ones, he was he was like, evangelism is for you, and so. I'm super, super excited about evangelism and I'm just excited about going to seminary school, just period. And um, another thing that I didn't mention is one thing that, one of the main things that really impressed me about Global Awakening is the fact that they are very spirit driven. They're a spirit driven um, seminary um, school and that is something that my life is very spirit driven. And so they talk they teach about healing they teach about deliverance they teach they teach about prophetic gifts and they teach about the fivefold ministry and so they just teach about so much good stuff that i've been yearning to learn more about and so i'm super super excited to see what god has for me in seminary school a lot of um questions that i've been receiving about me going to seminary school one of the main ones is what are you going to do with your degree so what are you going to do when you graduate? And I always tell them, I tell everybody, every person that asks me that, I don't know. I'm going to do whatever God wants me to do because my life is a life of surrenderance. My life is a life of obedience. Jesus really is the head over my life. And so whatever he says do, I'm going to do. Even if I don't know where the road is leading, I'm still going to walk down the road. Okay. <laughs> and so I don't know what, I don't know what's going to happen after seminary school. I, I'm actually looking forward to what's going to happen in seminary school, okay? I'm not looking at the end. I'm looking at the journey, and I'm super, super excited to see God move through through the class, to see God move through through the people that I'm going to be connecting with, which I've already connected with some amazing people, and just the teachers, the instructors, and just all the knowledge I'm going to get. Listen, I'm about to be in this word, y'all. I'm about to be like... So, Revelation was written by... James, okay, James is Jesus' brother, which revelation I don't think it was written by James. I'm just giving an example of how I'm gonna be, you know, I'm just be I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a theologian for real. I'm gonna be like, okay, so we're gonna go to 2 Timothy, and 2 Timothy is actually located on page 157. If you have New Living Translation, it's 157, okay. But if you have the um the contemporary version, then that's gonna actually be 197. I, I want to get on that level where I could just give you page numbers and stuff like that. <laughs> my first class is actually evangelism and then after that i'm going so so global awakening they they do like mini semesters so the first mes semester is going to be january to march and then there's a march to may and then i think there's a may to july if i'm not if i'm not mistaken so they do like mini semesters which is super super great so i can take multiple classes per semester but so the first half of my semester is going to be evangelism. The second half is going to be hermeneutics. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how many times I had to learn that word. I was like, how you say this? And so every, <laughs> every night I was like, Google, translate, and hermeneutics, hermeneutics, hermen. Okay, so I'm taking hermeneutics. And then um, I also learned exegesis. <laughs> But I do know that is a seminarian, you know, terminology, lingo, whatever. But I'm going to be exegeting and stuff like that. And so my third class is actually going to be deliverance. I, I do deliverance in June. And I'm super, I'm super excited about deliverance. And we're going to be doing physical healing, inner healing. I'm going to be taking um, the Old Testament, New Testament. I'm going to be taking Azusa. I don't know how to pronounce it. A-Z-U. Is it A-Z-U-A? Aza? Aza Street? Aza? I don't know if that's what. I don't know. I'm going to be taking that. I'm going to know though. But I'm going to be taking that and what else am I taking? I think some other stuff that I can't really remember. But yeah, God has already paid for my first semester. He has led people to sow into my ministry. And so that was able to cover my first semester. And I just told the Lord that I'm trusting that he will continue to provide for every semester after this one. And so the Lord did tell me to provide my ministry cash out for anybody that would like to sow into my ministry that will then sow into my seminary journey. <laughs> Um, the cash app is dollar sign Lala Jenkins LLC. And so that is my um, YouTube ministry 
um, account and I'm actually going to be using that to pay for seminary school. And so, okay, Holy Spirit. So I calculated that seminary school will be about 15,000. So I am believing God for $15,000. I am not taking out any financial aid. I told the Lord that I'm just going to trust and believe in him. And so he said that he will provide and I am going to watch him provide because he is a man that does not lie. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to do more seminary journey videos. I just wanted to do this first one so y'all can just see I'm in the dough. And I'll probably follow back up once I do evangelism and hermeneutics so I can just share what I learned. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. Say bye, Charles.